So in the past, we've shot a few different bow companies, uh, and this year, Zach and I, and Zach behind the camera there, we're all gonna switch to these new breed bows. It's a company out of Alabama. One of the things I really like about New Breed being from Benchmade is that they have a very similar business model, really focused on quality, great dealer relationships and customer service. We got black bows, all black. You can get them in a lot of different colors. You can get them in camo, but one of the things we decided to do with the Kuyu bias pattern is to get them in all black. And I say we, but actually these guys are making me be the guinea pig and shoot my bow first. So you can see, I basically taped everything off already. They start you know, all black like this. And then what I did here is I taped off pretty much anywhere the string would be exposed. I'm choosing to tape off my limbs. You don't have to do that. I just want the black, the black limbs. And then get everything you want completely masked off that you don't want any paint on. And then it's a two layer process. So the first step is I've taped off, I like tore the tape in a way that it gives it sort of that camo stripe, tiger stripe look, and I've just strategically placed it in different areas around the riser. I'm also gonna paint my cams because the cams are pretty shiny here. We just wanna knock that back and make it more of a matte finish. So we're gonna go two layers here. We've got the black bow underneath, which will put the first layer of tape on, and I'm gonna shoot the whole thing now with a gray primer. Once that dries, we'll go back through, retape everything again, and then we'll shoot the whole thing with a tan camo from the different paints, it's the regular spray paint you get you know, at the hardware store, like the camo spray paint. And in the end, when you peel that second layer of tape off, what'll happen is all the layers where the, the paint on the riser, the black was masked off both times, those will show up black. The second time around where it only was masked off in one place, that'll show up gray. And then you'll get the tan everywhere else. It'll give it a really sweet camo look. One of the real keys to this is you just cannot go heavy. You hold eight to 10 inches away, shoot a layer on like that, and then just let it dry. If you go way too heavy, or you try to do it all at once, you get drips. And once you get a drip in it, there's no coming back. So just be patient. Just let this side dry now, and then we'll flip it over. That way we don't end up turning it over too fast and having paint come off because we've set it down on wet paint. Okay, so we're peeling the first layer of tape off after all the gray paint is dried. We'll peel this off and then we'll remask it and paint it tan. So we have all the tape peeled off from the first round of gray paint. Now we're going to go back through them and use a fatter tape, tear it the same way, cover the whole riser again. Then we're going to go over the whole thing with tan. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do one. I painted both of the cams with the primer right now, but I'm going to do I'm going to do one cam gray and one cam tan when it's done. painted both sides and I picked it up and got into all of the nooks and crannies and you can see now there's a really even coat of tan across the whole bow in all the open areas that we put that other tape over with the exception of this cam which again I'm leaving gray. So we're going to let it dry here for about 15 minutes and we're going to peel every last bit of tape off. We should have a finished product. to come out with a camo bow, but nothing that looks quite as trick as this. You can see the original GX2 here in all black and then the finished product. Mm -hmm. 